What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. And so today, man, we're gonna be talking about manga round five and you know, kind of my feelings about the banner as a whole. You know, um, me myself, man, I'm a bit disappointed. You know, uh, me personally, I'm a bit disappointed. I know that, you know, I know that gameplay isn't 100% out yet. We should be getting that in about 24 hours from now. Uh, but just based on what we do know, um, I'm a little disappointed. And I'm going to talk about the reasons why. So, um, I'm still going to be summoning on this banner. I still want all three of the units, if nothing, to test them. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna be getting into everything. Hope you guys enjoy the content. But yeah, you already know, man. Home with the profit. We about to get it popping. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's get it lit. Drop shit. I kept it the same. No, I never changed. The niggas they think I got cheat code. I came in the game. They don't want my name. The niggas around me, my people. Yes, I got a feeling, a wonderful feeling when I'm in the building in beast mode. These niggas be capping, they really be acting. They ain't really about it. I'm lethal. Say that you packing, but I see you lacking, so I get them gone for me though. Back plugged in again. All right, y'all. So let's just let's just take a look at this with the. Uh, with full sound. Yonkoso, Watashi no Soul Society. Granted, we've already seen this, but. Rise! The character models, once again, look, look amazing. Soy foam looks so good. Just looking at these characters, you have really high hopes because Aizen looks dope, and then Soy foam. Soy foam looks like she would have been the worst out of the banner in people's eyes, like how people see as far as like let's say the popularity contest goes. But. Like when you see what they look like, you're like, okay, you know, looks great. You know what I'm saying? Looks looks really good. Um, like I said, just looking at character models, man, and and how it starts off. The main reason why I'm and like I said, we do have stats and skills though, so get stats and skills out. I guess I'll let it play one more time. Now we'll move on to that. Uh, the main thing I want to start about is the Noitor counter thing. I didn't anticipate getting a Noitor counter out of this banner because, well, frankly, there are two captains. So, you can't be a captain. Oh, I see Yama. Okay, okay. Let me actually rewind that one because I actually never saw that. I never saw the. There he is right there on fire with his flaming armor. It's very short, but you do see it there. For whatever reason, I'm just now seeing that. But you can see Yama's flame armor right there, so he's gonna have that on him after he uses his um, his super. I think that's Zanka no Tachi. I forgot which one it is. Excuse me for yawning, you guys. But Yamamoto looks like he's going to be the best one. We'll go ahead and dip over to the BBS simulator. Shout out to the GOAT Soul Dex. You guys already know, man. We support the homie Soul Dex and all of his endeavors. Okay. So. Uh, take move this up. And you guys, make sure you always have the page formatted. So that, like, you know, so that whatever you're viewing is... It's for it's your screen is uh, proper enough so that what you're viewing is listed out supposed to be. We're gonna go over this quickly. We already know stats and skills, okay? So we'll go over the highs, okay? Um, last ditch survival in the uh, in the skills is amazing. Start barrier ten is amazing. Debilitator, frenzy, of course. 
802 SP, Mind Attribute. All of those things are great. The Hollow Killer thing, for these characters, man, you would not expect them to be Hollow Killer. You want them to be Soul Reaper or a Ron Car Killer just based off of the fact that the Aizen has killed Soul Reapers and he's killed a Ron Car and a Spada as well. You know, Hollows are like on the lower tier of the of the chain. You know what I mean? Like Hollows are on the not not like like I'm saying in, in the tier of like the anime, the series. Like Hollows are low tier. Like you just want to have a better killer, which the the best killer. If he isn't going to be a complete stopper for anyone, would have been a Ron Car killer because Soul Reaper Killer is spilled by Ikone, which Ikone versus Aizen would have been it would have been a landslide, and Aizen would have been the you know not the best character. So, um, okay, so what we need to talk about is Aizen's third strong attack. We'll go over magnifications real quick. So, you see right here, strong attack three, right. It says radius 700 to 900 to a thousand range full screen which means that with when you don't charge it you just press the button on this third strong attack I got 700 radius okay if you charge it the standard length which is like three seconds roughly it's 900 radius and now the thing that I don't really want to speak too much on, I have went ahead in my mind and relegated it to six seconds because that would just make sense, okay? So there are people saying that, and I'm not saying that they're incorrect, but the word is that in how the stats and skills show up, it says once he's finished with the incantation release to to get the full power well he actually recites the kido hitsugi incantation as his character they said that the audio log is 20 seconds now there's no way that there that you have to charge this attack for 20 seconds but with how the stats and skills had it worded it said hold the button until the incantation is finished now, some people mentioned that um, Tech Aizen, his Takeda Tsuki, it is a full incantation, but the words are over layered on top of each other. Like, you just kind of hear like words, and before one starts the other, before one ends the other starts, and it's kind of like wrapping words around each other. So, but to do that in six seconds, I mean, I feel like the best they could do is when the charge starts then he might start going with the sped up incantation. You know what I mean? And that would still be at least six seconds. There's no way you got to charge this charge attack for 15 seconds plus. There's just no way. That would just be, it wouldn't be worth the damage. Like, dude, 20 seconds, like you can literally do two charge attacks in that time frame. Like, that's literally no lie. You could literally do two charge attacks, especially with the strong attack recharge build. So, um, but at full charge, this strong attack is going to do hit for three times the amount of a soul bomb. So just look at magnification. I'll explain this really quickly, you guys. This is magnification for normal attack. Magnification for everything is virtually the same. I need to not do that. So, it goes 100, 100, 100, 120, meaning the last hit of your normal attack string does more damage, does 20% more because of the magnification. So, with that being said, um, basically, every move has like a flat magnification, technically. For whatever reason, this first strong attack is only listed as 40 mag, which means it has to split up, I think. I think that means it splits up into three pieces. Oh God. I hope that's not it. Please no. I hope that's not it. I hope that's not it. Because it, every strong attack is supposed to have 100% magnification and then there just be like whatever is, you know, base to it. So it should be 120 to the first, um, 
basically just as follows. One, should be 120 everywhere relatively. Normally it's 100% magnification on the first, 120 on the second, and then could be up to 140 on the third. But how it really is, is um, it looks weird because this isn't a one, this isn't how it normally is for your first magnification. But um, second strong effect, magnification 120, third is, is 120. But a regular charge strong attack is 240. This is twice what a regular charge strong attack is. Excuse me for stumbling over my words. That's essentially what I'm trying to get to. It's 480% magnification. It's twice what a charge strong attack is. And the charge attack is effectively almost twice of what a normal regular third strong attack is. Let alone a special. A special is 150 magnification. This is 480, which means it's going to do three times at least more damage than a special. But if this comes with the like 20 second cooldown, like a 20 second charge, that's just going to be crazy. So I will go ahead and go on a limb and say it's going to be a six second charge up, which that's still not going to be great. You can just have a regular standard full screen charge attack and it's going to be better than that. And I'll get off Eisen really soon because I don't want to make it seem like he's a bad character. He's still a great character. But if you're joining in on a co-op room, you can fully charge his charge attack. And you're only going to get through one wave. So charge attacks lose their effectiveness if you're not host and co-op. You, if, if you are using a charge attack character, you want to host because you're going to be able to literally bomb through every wave with that charge attack. Now this dude's gonna be sick in like extreme co-op. Can you imagine like someone, the host being able to just speed run for inheritance zone, being able to just wipe literally a whole entire room? That's gonna be insane. So it's not that he is a disappointment, but it just depends on how long this whole charge attack thing is. We'll go ahead and I think Eyes is gonna be really good though. I think he's still gonna be really good. 802 SP, highest in the game, tied with, you know, ties for the highest in the game. Yamamoto, I think he's going to be the best kit-wise because I just don't understand everyone hollow killers. There's nothing wrong with hollow killer, but there are two better killers that we could have had. There are much worse killers than hollow. So, with that being said, you know, it is good, but it's not like the best of the best of the best. I'm sorry, it's not. So, Yama looks like he's going to be the best actual sh playable good character with kits. I don't even want to see that, but Undead chase those I deem the enemy until they turn to dust. That is some badass shit, man. Yamamoto seems like he's going to be the best overall in a banner. Freeze duration resistance, fire duration resistance, debilitating burn, uh, frenzy bruiser, and he's normal attack. Looking at his... Um, Looking at his kit, his first strong attack has zero radius, which means that it's a projectile, and um, that can be good or bad. You see the mags are 120. Range, 800 radius, which is really good. Um, that's really good. No matter how you slice it, 800 radius is amazing. For a second strong attack, one of the best that we have to offer thus far in the game. And then his third strong attack is a just straight full screen third strong attack. You see it at 120 magnifications. So the eyes are going to do more damage, but it's going to be a less uh, producive playstyle for all roles. Now, if you see a special, it says it has... 150 uh, magnification to a 120. The 120 is for the AOE that surrounds him after he uh, does his um, soul bomb. I think he's going to be the best in the banner as far as straight up kids go. I don't have any issues with him whatsoever. None. I love these freeze resistance. I love these burn resistance. If you're so hot, you are resisting fire. How can you not resist you know, uh, cold makes perfect sense. His kit should be absolutely perfect. Yamamoto, once again, looks to be the best actual playable character. Let's go to the soy phone. She's a disappointment. Let's just start off getting to it. She's a melee. She's a melee character. My Shunko is wind. Wow. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. No attack damage. I feel like she should have been DR. I love her killer. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. We're going to have... Okay, I'll, I'll just continue along. She has the highest stamina in the game. That's amazing. Very, very high attack. I think that's like third in the game. Flurry, Devastation, Enhancer, Poise. Magnifique, Magnifique, Magnifique. Sprinter, throw up. She should have had Long Strike, no matter what. No matter if she is a normal attack character, she still should have Long Strike. You might say, oh, they didn't give Manga Yodoichi Long Strike. Why would Manga Soi have Long Strike? Why the hell does Hikone have Long Strike? Why does the past... The tech version of Yodoichi have long stride. Why does the the tech lost agent version of Soy have long stride? When the manga versions are supposed to be faster. Like they're not setting the precedent that the manga characters are supposed to be faster as far as long stride goes. And the fact of that she's supposed to be made to be a no tour counter, which people are saying she's not, she's gonna get shitted on. You're stupid. Don't be dumb. Like, don't be dumb. You know what I'm saying? She has no other character has any kind of relevant killer on Noitora. None of them. Aside from Nelia. The her biggest downfall is that she's a captain. If they were like, oh her her bond cards are moved, she's not a captain. I'd be like, do it. Cause that means that she would kill Noitora more times than he killed her. By giving Noitora a 40% captain damage on her and the fact that he had debilitating paralysis and she doesn't have any status down man. She should have lacerate. She has wind covering her body. That should be cutting anyone that comes near her. Effectively that's lacerate. You know? That's really my only big gripe with her. She doesn't have long stride and she's made up to be a Noitora counter and she is a captain. So she's going to deal more damage than, than anyone else to, than Noitora. But she's going to die. And he's going to proc paralysis probably 50% of the time. And those 50% of the time she's going to die as well. I love that she has a transforming uh, second strong attack. With Enhancer, which means if you have Soy, you don't need Chad any longer. And that her second strong attack gives her a... Essentially makes her a walking vortex. So she's going to shred Noitora's bed, uh, barrier. So that's pretty much going to be wiped out. His barrier is going to be wiped out, but it's going to come to him having Captain Killer and her having a Ron Car Killer and him having DR and her having Mad. So, and, you know, that's essentially what it comes down to. Um, the characters are still busted. They're still top of the line. I just feel like they're not as good as other characters. I don't feel like any of these characters are better than Mugetsu. Aizen has a chance if you fully charge that third strong attack. But like I said, that charge strong attack playstyle, it is risky. So, you know, um, that's kind of it. You know, I'll just leave it at that. That's just my thoughts. In my opinion, I feel like it's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, that Soy isn't a recharge character or a strong attack damage character with long stride. She was heart, that's perfect, but I wanted her as a, um, as a strong attack damage character, but we don't really have any Nad Soys, which is not a bad thing. But you guys let me know how you think. Um, I still will be summoning, don't get it twisted. I still want Aizen, I still want Yama, I still want Soy. If not, just to test them all. It's going to be a tough banner because of how the fillers are. But I'm going to be going in. If I pull two of them, I'm going to stop and go for individual banners. So I hope that's you guys' plan. I hope you guys saved enough. Hope you guys get who you get. And I hope you guys get who you want. Hope you guys like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Smuggle.